and Facebook in just a moment. Hopefully it will all come together. And uh, tonight we've got some news and we've got Reverend Victoria the Vicar who will hopefully join us at an end. Um, and I'm not quite sure why, but I think this might not come out on YouTube. So we'll just carry on. So good evening. And um, here's the first piece of news, really, and that is to remind everyone that the emergency number for needing support in North in Test Valley is zero three three zero four hundred four one one six, and that's the number for Unity, the Council for Voluntary Service in Test Valley, who should be coordinating volunteering operations here. O three three zero four hundred four one one six. Just to remind everyone that self isolation. Um, Self-isolation is really, really important to protect everyone from the worst parts of this epidemic. It's absolutely vital that as far as possible, we all adhere to the, um, the government guidelines because they're critical to uh, breaking the chains of transitions. And uh, that's what really makes for safety really for all our communities so moving on to um, our churches unfortunately due to the prime minister's guidance which was issued yesterday and the upcoming regulations all our churches are now closed those are St Mark Ampfield, St Dennis in Chilworth St John the Baptist and All Saints in North Baddersley. The churchyards remain open, but please remember to keep a safe distance from people who are not in your household and to obey the government's regulations. This is to protect you and our volunteers as much as possible at this time. We are very sad about this, but there's a difference between being sad about sh shutting a church and the absolute tragedy which would result if having a church open was something that helped to transmit the virus. So we do hope you understand. The GP practice we spoke to this afternoon, um, they want to emphasise that you should not under any circumstances attend the practice um, without having telephone first. You telephone them and they will triage you to see whether you need help. Do not ring them if you have symptoms of coronavirus. Please follow the information on the NHS website. Calls are being answered as fast as possible and actually we got through very, very quickly. So um, please do uh, use the GP responsibly. If you have a high tea temperature or continuous cough, stay at home and only call 111 as you if your condition worsens. There is help and advice on the NHS website. Social care providers. Most social care in North Baddersley is provided by All Care. Um, they are preparing for difficulties, but at the moment they say that their service is running without strain. It's uh, coping okay at the moment. Please let us know if you experience problems, not necessarily because we'll be able to help you, but because it will be helpful to know. There's a scam which is being um, propagated by email. Uh, the start of the email reads, as schools will be closing, if you're entitled to free school meals, please send your bank details. We emphasise that you should not, under any circumstances, send your bank details to these people. This email is not genuine and has been verified as such by the Department of Education this afternoon. Um, the White Horse in Ampfield have stopped providing uh, takeaway services for now because they are now fully closed. However, they do continue to offer um, a food parcel service if you really need it in an emergency. Small quantities of bread, milk and cheese and a few maybe other things will be in that parcel. Please ring them to arrange where to um, drop that off. The co-op in Botley Road is now closing at 8pm. I think that's true for the Seymour Road co-op as well, but I haven't confirmed it. 
This is to um, ensure they can staff the shop adequately. Please continue to be responsible and adhere to appropriate social distancing inside the shop. Um, we want to emphasise that Christian funerals will continue, whatever happens, uh, as will our ministry to the dying and bereaved, and we're working on some resources to help make that work better uh, in light of the necessary changes. Um, the difference that will now occur following the government's regulations is that funerals will either be at the crematorium or at the graveside. To remind you that the... Um, Church's contact details are acmb-church.org 02380-8178-8031 or ACMB Church on social media. Please do connect with us and subscribe to these broadcasts on YouTube or on Facebook. Um, so I'm just now going to switch over and bring in um, our vicar, Reverend Victoria, and we'll see whether we can make that work. So here we go, coming up now. Um, just hold on while we make that work. And um, Victoria will be with us very shortly, I hope. Um, She's got a slight problem finding out where she's disappeared off to. This is not how things are meant to go, really. But anyway. Um, so, um, let's bring that. So, Victoria's been um, continuing to work as she is able um, and if you'd like to get in contact with her it's um, really important that you feel um, free to do that and you should use email or um, the best uh, way to contact her is probably email vicar at acnb hyphen church um, and um, we can we can connect you up from there ah oh, here we are right okay you have made it onto the screen I'm very sorry about the um, improvisation. We are all improvising a lot at the moment. Reverend Victoria, you're live now. Hi. Hi, Ian. Um, I was here all along. I hadn't gone anywhere. Anyway, hi, everybody. Um, it's, it's really nice to, to be able to talk to you. I'm missing you guys so much. Um, I'd love to hear about what you're doing, um, what you found at home to entertain in these days. I know we've only had one day and we've got many more to come. So if any of you had some really good ideas of things to do or ways that you're sharing with each other, um, do let us know on, on the Facebook um, or as Ian said, get in touch with us. Um, I'd really like to, to know how you all are. Lots of you have been sending me messages. So that's really nice to, to hear how you're, you're getting along. Um, and um, everybody seems well at the so that's that's really fantastic. Um, do let me know if you're not. Um, and do let me know if you've got things that you would like to be prayed for or people that you know that you would like to be prayed for. I'm, I'm holding all of our uh, regular congregation in prayer every day. Um, but um, if you've got other people that you want prayer for, then and please pop them on the Facebook. And, uh, and, and just do let me know. Uh, what what you would like to be prayed for and um, and perhaps we can do some prayers on here sometime but I'm certainly doing them and uh, so are the rest of the team praying every day for all of you um, and as Ian said our churches are now closed completely they will be locked which is very sad um, but we agree that we must all play our part I'm really pleased to see you all at home I can see each one of you I can see you're all on your sofas and your chairs, so that's excellent for staying at home. Well done. It's going to be hard, um, but together we we will do it. So uh, this evening I just wanted to um, say a, a prayer for you, or say the night prayer, um, as we will all be going to bed shortly. So this is a, a prayer that's traditionally said at, at bedtime. So um, here we go, let's pray. 
Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of sin. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Good night, Amen. everybody. See you again soon. Bye. Okay, good night, and um, I'm sorry to our viewers on YouTube that that stream started a little bit later than was expected. You can um, see uh, the whole stream on Facebook. Uh, we're trying some new technology which allows us to put the video in two places at once, and I think I got a little bit clever for my own good. So we'll see you again shortly. All right, thanks very much. Good night.